Hello everyone and welcome to Programming and Access 2013, the advanced course. My name is Steve Bishop and in today's video we're going to be talking about linking parent form controls to subforms. So in our last video we actually linked our parent form and the data that was being presented in the, in the parent form to filtering out our subforms so that we could have uh, the active orders based upon the current employee that was being viewed on the parent form. Well, this is not entirely the functionality that we can see if we look at the Northwind database. So let's go ahead and hop out here. And our example that we've been using in the last couple of videos was this ability to select from the combo box an employee. And then based upon that selection, we would filter out this active orders subform. So if I have Nancy selected here, we get just her orders. If I select Andrew, we get his orders. So based upon this drop-down box is actually filtering out the active orders, not necessarily which record we're on. And just to reinforce that idea of what's going on here, you can see that the record source for the parent form here is this table called strings. And the strings table, if we just open that up, really has absolutely nothing to do with the employee that's being selected. So how is it working that this combo box is what's dictating what's in the active orders? And heck, you can even see the combo box is unbound. It, it's not bound to anything. So clearly something else is going on here for the relationship between this subform and the combo box. And that's what we're gonna go over today. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. And I'm gonna go over to the form that we've been working on here, the form active orders. And let's go into the design view here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and actually remove these three, uh, these three fields here, these text fields. And I'm also going to go into the uh, link master fields and the link child fields, and I'm just going to delete everything that's in there. So there's no link whatsoever between these two things. And then one last step here is I'm actually going to go to the record source and remove it entirely. Okay, so there's really nothing in this parent form anymore that we can utilize to filter out our active orders. And just to reinforce that, you can see active orders, everything is here. We've got every active order that's out there right now. And we don't have the ability to go back and forth between different uh, employees because there aren't any employees on the, on the parent form. So let's go ahead and go back into the design view here and let's establish our combo box that's gonna show our employees. So let's, we've done this a few times. We're going to do an employee label here and make this a little wider because we're going to have to display the employee names in this. And let's change this combo box name, so CBO employee. And the data, we're going to say the row source. We need to go to the ellipses here. We're going to fill in the row source with the employees table. And it's going to be the ID is going to be the first column. And then we're going to do first name, last name. And even more so, I'm going to go into the SQL view here and concatenate these two together. So we'll have first name and a space between the last name there. And let's also give this an, an alias, so as employee name. And then last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and order by the first name. I need to do this in brackets, first name. That way we actually have a specific order to the way that these come out, and there we go. So we can see the employee name, Andrew, Ann, Jan, Laura, etc. So that's the order that they're gonna show up in our combo box. And here is the field that's going to be returned, right? The ID field is what we want to have returned back as the value for the combo box. So let's go ahead and save that. And we can see bound column is one, so that means the first field in our query, that employee, oops, that employee's ID, sorry, kind of goofed up there, that employee's ID field is our first column of our row source, so therefore that's what's going to get returned when the user selects something from the combo box. Now we need to go to the format, and we need to say the count, column count is two, because we've got the ID field and the employee name field, so there's two columns. The column widths, if I just take a look at this right now, you'll see that the combo box shows me the ID 
for the employee, that's really unnecessary. So I'm going to actually margin that out. I'm going to take that out of the view by setting the column width equal to zero. And that's all I really need to do because the second column will take up the rest of it. Uh, we'll take up the rest of the view of the combo box. And now when we look at it, we have our employee combo box alphabetically ordered. And when I select on one, I'm going to be returning back from this combo box the employee ID, right? So I'm going to be returning back Jan's ID number. But we don't have any linking going on right now, right? This not, it's still not filtering out our active orders. We still see everything. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go back into the subform here. You're going to go to the data tab, and you can see link master fields before what we did was we selected here and clicked on the ellipsis and you'll see we get an error can't build a link between unbound forms okay and that's because again we don't have any data going through our our parent form but what we can do is we can actually type it in ourselves of what we want it to be linked with and the master field the, the master field the field that's going to be used in the parent form is this combo box the cbo employee so that's what we're going to put here for the master fields. It's going to be CBO employee. I'm just putting it in brackets just for the heck of it, just to make sure. Okay. The link child fields is going to be going into here and looking at the record source and looking for the employee ID. That's the foreign key. Remember the foreign key that is the actual ID that we want to, the employee ID that we want to filter it by. So we're going to select employee ID as what we want for our, uh, for our child field. Okay, so I'm going to enter that. And again, I need the brackets here, especially because I've got a space in employee ID. Oops. So we're linking the combo box to the employee ID field okay and you'll notice there is no employee id text box okay the child field needs to be a uh an actual column that you get from the query or from the table that is part of the record source of the subform so we've got that employee id field here that's part of the record source of our subform and that is what we're putting down as the child field that we're going to be filtering okay and we're going to be filtering it where it's equal to the employee combo box the cbo employee box so the actual parent the master field is actually the combo box okay it's a little confusing but it, i hope that makes sense to you now when we view this you can see we get the functionality that we're looking for so there's andrew when i select andrew we get his active orders when I select Nancy, we're going to get her active orders. And again, there's no VBA code that's being used here in this specific example. Okay, this is all strictly based upon the parent child relationship. Okay, so that being said, there is a VBA way to do this. And I'm going to show you how to do this in VBA in the next video.